California investors, I'm going to show you how to get over $500 a month in passive cash flow while spending less than 30 grand. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. This is Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise. Today, I'm working with California-based investor Adon. Adon, you're an out of tech, auto tech, right? Out auto tech. My bad, dog. You're an auto tech, right? You fix cars. That's a very honorable profession, right? I don't know how to fix anything on my car, right? I, I get my oil changed, and I, I go to the drive through you know, the drive through oil change, because I don't like to fucking get out and shit. And they're like, yo, dude, pop, pop, pop your hood. And I'm like, oh, shit, bro. Fuck, I'm losing my manhood right now. I'm like, hold on. This is my wife's car. I got to figure it out, right? So I don't know shit about cars. So I'm glad you do, brother. That's a tough profession. But what I do know shit about is real estate, cash flow, teaching you guys how to make the money, right? And Adon, you came to me, dude. You're like, you got a bunch of different ideas, right? Small single families, burrs, this or that. Uh, and you shot a lot of strategy at me. But the moral of the story, right, is you want to make over $350 a month in cash flow, right? You said that makes your wife happy, happy wife, happy life. I totally agree, brother. Cool thing is... I got a property that's going to make over $500 a month in cash flow, right? So you're aiming to get $350, and your ultimate goal was to invest as much long-term cash into the deal as you can, but still hit your goal, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over a property that's going to require less than 30 Gs, and it's going to exceed your goals. Should have $500 plus a month in passive cash flow. We're going to check that out after this commercial break. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's take a look at the numbers, okay? This property, 4010 Bush, Cleveland, 4 for 109. Just hit the market today. We're probably going to be in a bidding war. We're probably going to need to move quick, right? There is going to be a lot of people looking to take this sucker down. List price, $114,900. I want you to pay that. As a matter of fact, I want you to go $100 over, right? Let's just shoot them an offer of $115K. It's like $0.99 cents versus a dollar, right? Something's a dollar ninety-nine. It feels a lot cheaper than if you're asked to pay $2 for it. So when we present our offer to the seller, right? 115 they're like whoa we're only asking 114 right makes them feel good gives us a better shot at taking it down because this <laughs> whoo this is a freaking earner dude you got to do what you got to do to take this one down you might even want to go above that price maybe as high as 120 but i think 115 should take it down okay now uh it's very nice property and it's been renovated recently right it's got the exact type of um like look i would want it to have right you got the agreeable gray walls you got the white trim right you got the neutral uh the neutral vinyl allure type flooring in the kitchen right that's great nothing super fancy but this is what we want for these type of rentals man the hardwoods throughout dude this is this is looking good right so at your next turnover it's not like you have to completely overhaul it right we got new updated fixtures right here in that uh <clears throat> bathroom right uh, I don't really like seeing carpet in the bedroom, but, hey, it's already there. It's not the end of the world. Oh, plus two, it comes with, like, a gigantic-ass bong, right? I'm pretty sure that's a huge bong. Or or it could either be a bong or it could be something that you put quarters in. Hard to tell from this photo. Either way, the sucker still makes money, right? So let's keep it moving, people. Oh, wait. Well, check that out, dude. Look at that. That's a purple fan. That's actually kind of cool. I've never seen that before. I like that. My daughter would dig that. Anyway. Uh, the rest uh, of the property, right? It's looking fresh. Uh, this is uh, photographs of the other unit prior to them placing a tenant, okay? It's, this is just what you want, right? Nothing fancy, nothing knocking your friggin' socks off, but this is exactly what you want, dude. Updated electrical. Like, it's already vinyl-sided. That's really good. You don't have to worry about lead-based paint issues on the outside of your property, right? And the best part about this, okay, 
the units. They're three bed, one bath, okay? Both tenants are paying six hundo, right? Six hundo is under market rent for a two one. Normally on two ones, we are getting seven fifty. But these are three ones, and the units look very nice. So it's not like uh, you need to do an insane overhaul to get market rent. Market rent, like a market rent on this sucker, huge, huge, seventeen hundred a month. That's twenty thousand four hundred a year, right? Of that twenty thousand four hundred a year, I believe your NOI should be a little bit over ten, ten thousand four hundred thirty-seven. If we get it at the one fifteen that I talked about, right? You put down less than 30 G's, okay? 28,750, bank kicks in 86,2 and a quarter. That would be a 21% cash on cash return or a 9.1 cap, right? And that also includes additional money you're getting now, right? While your tenants are in there, you're not spending money on vacancy, but I'm having you not count a certain amount of money. I'm having you not count over $1,000 a year of money that comes in now towards your vacancy because eventually you'll have a vacancy. I'm having you not count over $1,000 a year towards your capital expenditures, right? Those electric panels, they look brand new, okay? But don't forget, right? We got a 30-year roof on these properties, right? Every 30 years, you're dropping seven Gs. I don't believe we have a brand new roof on this sucker, so I'm sure in the next decade, you're dropping that money. Your furnaces, they last 30 years. They cost about three grand, right? So you got to save money towards that stuff. Hot water tanks, there's two of them in a duplex, folks. That's $1,000 every 15 years, right? So you're probably getting more money over the first few years of owning this property that I'm even calculating on your return because I know those big charges are coming. That's just part of the game when you own properties, right? But this thing, that's why there's going to be a friggin' bidding war. This thing is nice. It's got the three beds. You could max the rent out at eight fifty a unit. That's friggin' amazing. Now, does it make sense to immediately jack your tenants' rents from six to eight fifty? No, that would be crazy, right? Even though the units are in good shape, you don't want to like force a turnover, especially when you're still bringing in twelve hundred in rent, right? What I'd probably recommend you do: sign them up to a one-year lease once you take it over, keep the rent where it is. Then after that, start going up fifty, seventy-five, even a hundred bucks. Uh, a month, right? They know they can't get no three-bedroom units in these neighborhoods anywhere else. So I don't think they're going to want to leave, but you don't want to shock them immediately with a huge $250 increase. Last but not least, before I get out of here, uh, I want to show you something as far as the neighborhood goes. This, I really like this particular neighborhood. Now, it's not a high-end neighborhood by any means, right? We talk about the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, okay? Google that if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's probably also in the show notes below, and I know it's on the tools and resource section of HoltonWeiss.com, right? I grade all the neighborhoods in the Cleveland area, A to F scale. A is the least risky. F is the most risky. A, neighborhoods, you're not going to find rentals, right? I know you guys come to the Cleveland market because stuff is cheap, right? There ain't no cheap properties in A grade neighborhoods, folks. Like, you guys might find this shocking but we also have rich people in the Cleveland area too, right? So there's half a million, $750,000 million houses, right? So that don't make no sense for you guys to even think about, okay? When you're in the rental game though, right? I would consider this to be about a D neighborhood, but it's my favorite D neighborhood, right? D neighborhoods, I think it's very important to put Section 8 tenants in there when you can because it eliminates your risk because uh, the biggest risk of a D neighborhood is people not paying rent, right? Section 8 eliminates that risk. And if you're going to invest in a D neighborhood, I love the Clark Fulton neighborhood because this is the house. This right here. I'm sorry, right here. I went too far. This is the house. This right here. This is Metro Health. Big old hospital, big old campus that's getting a billion dollars of investment going towards their campus in the surrounding area of building low-income housing, right? On top of that, if you zoom the map out a little bit, right above here, you got Tremont, Ohio City, Detroit Shoreway, Edgewater, Lake Erie, downtown. Those are all the areas in the Cleveland market where people talk about the resurgence of Cleveland. So you're directly south of all the hot spots that have already gentrified, and you're getting a billion dollars of investment into your low-income neighborhood. So if you're going to make a bet on a low-income neighborhood to get some cash flow but also some appreciation in the future, have your cake and eat it too. Cannot guarantee it, but if I'm going to speculate, I'm going to speculate on the one neighborhood in Cleveland that's bordering a lot of gentrification and is getting a billion dollars of investment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.